I used to believe that when I achieved a specific goal, I would finally be happy. <laughs> Every action I took was more of a means to an end, rather than an enjoyable activity in itself. Don't get me wrong, I believe having goals is great. It keeps you motivated working towards something you dream of or even envision for yourself, right? But maybe. Maybe that was the problem all along, that I did not see all the good that is right in front of me. A self-induced blindness to the present reality and a constant escape into a future fantasy. Fantasizing about a future where everything is great and I am the highest version of myself. Yet I despise the present and sometimes even lived in the past. Days got blurry and I was waiting, waiting for a miracle to happen. When I've been in charge all along, I know there is comfort in escaping, especially if the present in front of you keeps you frustrated and sad. But what if you would die that day? We are sort of delusional for thinking that we have forever. Telling ourselves, oh, it's just a five-year degree. I actually hate it, but I will make my parents proud. And after that, I can finally be happy. I'll just wait another year, because that option doesn't seem very safe. Well, everybody is doing it, so it must be great. Well, let me tell you something. Once you have deeply accepted an idea as truth, it doesn't register as cultural or even subjective anymore. I don't know why the misconception is spread so widely that you have to be miserable during the process, that it needs to be challenging and that you basically delay everything. Because in the end there is this fairy tale ending, right? Here's a twist. What if we have been wrong all along? What if everything we yearn to become is already a part of us, waiting to be acknowledged? Perhaps life circumstance might not align with what we want to own someday, but have we truly mapped out who we want to be one day? What values do we hold? What kind of person do we ought to become? How does our ideal day-to-day -day look like instead of throwing in titles and nouns? Once you do this, you realize that all these things we aspire to be can be embraced right now. Discipline, healthy eating, delightful meals, sports, quality time with friends, travel, confidence. Not as future ideals, but as choices we can make today. Of course you won't be able to do these things to the extent you hope to do one day. But essentially, it's not about doing everything perfectly from the start. Rather embodying the person deserving of that dream life right from the start. <laughs> As they say, messy in the middle and gorgeous in the end. When our dreams solely reside in the external, but happiness is indeed something internal, we will be constantly stuck in a never-ending cycle of highs and lows. Why wouldn't you just create a new, bigger goal and chase after that one as well? We get used to things quickly, so even the most exciting things tend to get stagnant after a while. Let's create a new, bigger goal 
the goal of being content in this very moment. Stop waiting, start living. As cliche this may sound, the journey is indeed the destination. And the beauty lies in embracing the now, finding happiness within, and realizing that life's most accelerating moments are not found in the extraordinary, but in the ordinary lived with intention. Let's put this into a different perspective. Some might argue that the goal of life is to die one day. So, do you want to have that same procedure with your goals? And now you realize how important a journey is. Oh, and on a side note, if you want to learn about some habits that will help you to embrace the now, check out this video. And always remember, every single day holds the power to change your life. <laughs>